hello guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video let's have a look on mesh filter so if you can scroll down in the tool menu you should be able to see the mesh filter here so i'm just selecting that and then if you just uh, explore the filter types you have different types of uh, filters here uh, this filter has got a strength and the deforming axis and the space in which the transformation happens like local uh, world and view spaces okay so if you could able to see here um, this object is uh, rotated like this. I mean, it's placed like this. Let's say if I just select the model, okay, and then maybe rotate it like that. Now, when I just uh, see the object's axis is there, uh, I mean, this side, but the world up is this side. So when I generally switch the model, and then when I choose the mesh filter, now it's uh, it's going to respect the model's local axis here. If not, you have the world axis also. So let me just uh, undo this and then switch back to the sculpt mode. And then we have the smooth option. Now just I need to just click and drag it and you should be able to see the model is trying to becoming smooth. I know this is way too much uh, to you know smooth, but you know there's some smoothness. Let's say if your model has got that randomness, uh, maybe I'll just uh, take a model and then just do that thing. And then just uh, scroll uh, for the brush and then just click and drag it and you should be able to see that that's sort of loosening up uh, the model okay uh, let me just select the mask and then just uh, paint it i'm going to use the strength here and just paint it over there press ctrl i to invert it then choose the mesh filter and just click and drag and you should be able to see the effect is seen in the unmasked area okay so I go back, remove the mask there. And then let me just choose the scale option and then the model is going to scale. Again, it's very important when you're actually trying to make a part of the model bigger. So let's say if I go to the mask, choose the lasso mask and then select that part, press Ctrl I to invert and then select the mesh filter. You can drag and you should be able to see that part is going to scale. Okay, so we have uh, inflate, it uh, pushes the vertex points outside the surface. Uh, it's not scale, just click and drag, you should be able to see thin fingers are becoming more thick. Uh, this is quite helpful when let's say I have a hand model, it's too thick. I just mask that and then inflate in and out, then it should generally become either thin or thick like that. Uh, we have a sphere where the model is going to you know transform into a sphere there like that now we have random where all the points are randomly pulled pushed uh, as you click and drag them we have relax uh, relax is it looks like smooth but it actually makes uh, the vertex points relaxed now what is relax generally means is if there are two uh, vertex points and the middle one is a little bit off uh, when you apply relax it comes to the averaged point of the neighboring vertex points so when i just click and drag you should be able to see there is a uh, a sliding of uh, vertex points throughout the model so they are trying to become more uniform uh, which was not there earlier you should be able to see some faces are very thin and some faces are too big but when i relax uh, all faces uh, becomes of equal size and then we have relaxed face sets, which is basically going to work when we have face sets. Okay. So when there is unevenness between the face sets, this is going to work. Uh, surface smooth is uh, again smooth tool, but it does not affect your, uh, I mean, it, you don't lose the uh, model here. I mean, the, the volume is not lost much because you're trying to relax it, smooth it, keeping the shape intact. Okay, right now I don't see any change here, but uh, in some too much rough model, you can just give it a try. And then we have sharpen details. It uh, sharpens the details. Uh, preferably, uh, you can use it for like hard surface model. Just mask a particular area and do the, uh, the sharp thing and uh, it should work. So I'm going to press M and then I'm going to Sorry, press M and I'm going to mask it here. I press Ctrl I and then choose that. Okay. So it generally 
uh, makes uh, the result more sharper uh, even you get a, a very clear uh, visibility of this effect when you have the uh, crease lines in the model you get that uh, creases becoming more creased or more sharp like if it's a very big radius beveled corner it becomes a tight radius beveled corner there uh, we have uh, another tool here which is enhance details so when you are going with a high frequency detail let's say i'm just pressing uh, control I just go back to the draw brush. I press Control Three or Control One. It's not showing up. So it was not working on the model. So I take on a new one, and then the multi-resolution is added. And let's say I do some uh, details uh, with maybe the clay brush or clay strip, and then do a lot of details there. Okay. So it became a high-frequency detail, right? So when I just ch uh, take this uh, mesh filter and uh, enhance details and then just click and drag, you should be able to see uh, uh, the high frequency details are becoming more prominent, you know. Uh, it's not really doing anything to this uh, part of the model, but it's showing up that effect here. So when there is high frequency detail, whatever the cavities and bumps are there uh, those cavities are getting multiplied so the cavity is going deeper and the bump is coming more outside as I'm just applying this effect on the model okay uh, we have erase displacement which will actually remove all that sculpting information with the erase displacement option there okay however you can take a mask tool okay I'm masking it I'm pressing Ctrl I, then go to the mesh filter, and then just click and drag. It removes all that sculpting uh, from the model there. So it's not affecting the model anywhere outside, but it's showing that effect only in the high frequency detail in unmasked area. So uh, if you have to do certain things at a bigger level, like throughout the model or a part of the model, like as I'm masking it, and I want to smooth things or relax things in that area mesh filter would be a great choice for doing that.